There are a number of additional parameters that are provided in the admin interface that are worth understanding before we want to move forward with any kind of an API treatment. Let's take a look by clicking on Full Interface in the default admin page. So first, we're querying the Select Request Handler. There are a number of other request handlers which we'll go into at a later time. Query string is the string that we were passing on the default admin page. Filter queries allow you to perform a post-processing query on the result set that you retrieve in order to further narrow what you're looking for. The start row allows you to say basically which page you're on. So if you were to provide 10 here, you would actually get page 2 greater than 10 document result set. The fields to return here, the star basically means all stored fields will show in the document XML, as well as the score. Sometimes it's a good idea to only select the fields that you're going to use, because if you're using a very large document, then chances are it will cause some performance problems. The output type is usually XML, but you can also select JSON. By setting debug to enable, you get basic rundown of every single calculation performed to achieve the score in your document set for each document. Debug Explain Others will allow you to select one or more documents based on a query to give an explanation of why they did not show up in your result set. Enabling highlighting will allow you to actually retrieve matches to your documents, which will give you the opportunity to provide snippets in your application. So first off, let's try filter queries. Let's select everything but require category hard drive. So note that even though we selected all 21 documents in our set, we actually only end up with two. It's also worth noting here that the field name has been provided, as well as an FQ value for filter query. This can also be noted here in the queries. So going back, we can remove this and note that we have all 21 documents again. If we wanted the next 10, we would simply add start row equals 10. And here we are at the 11th document. So let's try to enable highlighting. Let's say we want to perform a search against Features. See if we can't find something to highlight. Now it looks like paginated too far. Always keep in mind that this is a risk that you take when using this kind of interface. So let's take a look. We have resolution here, and we have resolution here. One's for a display and one's for a printer. And as you can see, we have after our result node, LFT node, the name highlighting, that includes values that reference the ID of each document in the re result set and then selects the appropriate field and highlights the term that we searched against. This is really useful for snippeting. Now we understand a handful of advanced parameters that we can use 
to better obtain data from our search index.